So now we switch to the actual kind of tutorial part of the day. Uh, it was requested that we do a very brief overture, overture, overview of Condor architecture uh, for people who may be new or, and maybe a reminder for those of you who could use one of how Condor fits together. There's a lot of uh, terms here that have already come up this week that will come up in later talks. And so hopefully this is a, a helpful uh, orientation uh, for, for everybody, everybody in the room. So we're gonna frame this not so much as a architecture talk, but uh, defining some key, key terms for HD Condor and how they go together. So where are these terms coming from? Did you know the manual has a glossary curated by one Greg Thane? And so you can click on this link and we're gonna go through most of the terms um, in, in that list with a couple diagrams to give a sense of, of, how, of how Condor works. So we'll start with the job. What is a job? It's a unit of work, it's the thing you wanna run. Uh, you can think of it as this is the executable I wanna run, the script, the binary. Um, as an unrepentant mathematician, I think of it as a function, <laughs> transforming inputs to outputs, uh, X's to Y's. So this is like what Condor is doing. It's running, it's managing, scheduling, executing jobs. So how are these jobs described? Jobs are described with a language, is that fair to say, uh, called uh, class ad. So these are key value pairs. Um, you could think of them as, as a, a list or a dictionary of metadata describing, in this case, a job, um, but there we'll see in a minute, they're used for other kind of entities in the HC Condor universe. Uh, it can have lots of different values. Um, this last one, expressions, is what makes it uh, especially customizable and one might say complicated uh, because you can have both set values, booleans, numbers, string, strings, and these expressions that can, that can change. All right, so we have our jobs. They're described with class ads. Where do jobs live? Jobs live on an access point. So this is a machine or a server where users place jobs to be run. And often, not always, but often, that's where a user would log in and actually run a command to sub submit their jobs. Okay, where do jobs run? What is an execution point? Uh, so these are servers where jobs are run or executed. They are also described using class ads. And so you can see here uh, the, the description might be a little different, but there might be things that are similar. Um, and that's gonna be relevant in a minute because we want the execution points where the jobs are gonna run, to be able to talk to the access point where the jobs are. How does this happen? Well, pause. First, we're gonna talk about demons, daemons. Uh, what are they? So from the manual, uh, it describes them as a long running process, an older term for service. So the entities that I've just described, the access point, the execute point have associated daemons, um, the condor sched D for the access point, the condor start D for an execute point. And so these are, you'll hear these terms in talks today and these come up when we're talking talking about HD Condor and how it works. So back to the question I was asking the previous slide, how do the uh, execution points, the access points find each other? Through the central manager. So uh, the two uh, daemons associated with the central manager are the collector and negotiator, potentially some other ones. Um, and this is a, a central database of execution points. Um, it has a negotiator that helps uh, match or assign jobs to execution points. And there's some accounting in there as well. And so this is sort of the conduit connecting these, these two uh, entities on the left and right, the access point and the execute points. Okay, that's 
an overview of the big picture. So these are the, let me go back one slide. These are the, the main components of um, an HD Condor system. So now we're gonna deep dive into a couple, I think two or three more terms um, that describe aspects of the job and the, exec uh, the execution point in a little more detail. So a term you'll hear um, in the Condor universe is slot. So a slot is where on the execution point the job actually runs. Uh, I think of it as like a, a slice of the machine. It might be the whole thing. Maybe the machine wants, or the job wants the whole, the whole pie, so to speak. Uh, but sometimes it's just a fraction. It's created by the Condor starter daemon. And then I think this is, this is actually our last term. Um, another term you'll have floated around is sandbox. And that's the files associated with the job. We talk about the input sandbox being the, the inputs, the input files that need to be usually fetched to the slot where the job is gonna execute. And the output sandbox being the files that need to be preserved in some fashion after the job completes. So of the topics kind of I, I ran through here, architecture, class ads, um, how Condor kind of fits together and works. There's some previous Condor Week talks highlighted here um, that you can explore. And if I threw these together last night, if the Condor team wants to change any of the recommended links, just let me know and I'll upload a new version of the slides. Um, this is more ways to learn. Um, and so I'll just open it up before we go into our tutorial for the morning, our actual user tutorial. Uh, any, what did I miss? Any corrections from the Condor team, uh, things that you would add for next year? Yes. 